New York's magnetic pull and a candid moment that draws you in. It deserves to be captured. The most distinguishing feature of what I'm about to show you is its ability to shoot smooth video. So why would you use a gimbal? And is the new DJI OM4 worth the price of admission into the world of cinematic motion? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to shoot cinematic footage using the latest DJI OM4 gimbal on your mobile phone. You can check out my Instagram for lots more examples. I'm Maliki Sherlock, this is Adorama TV. New York is home to and has served as the backdrop to some of the best movies ever made. The question is, can we capture some of that movie making magic on an inexpensive gimbal and a phone? Let's get started with a simple tracking shot walking along the Brooklyn Bridge towards the suspension towers just ahead of us there. Without the gimbal, this type of shot would be practically impossible. Basically, the video image would have like lots of jitter and shake. But with the gimbal in your hand, it's the kind of shot that can help you with your overall visual storytelling. And it's really easy to get with a gimbal and some wheels. So here are a few tips on how to shoot smooth cinematic video while you're moving or walking. Tip number one. The first thing you need to do is to plan your gimbal move. Decide how long you want the shot to be and have a clear idea and direction for the move before you actually press record. Tip number two. If you want to get perfect buttery smooth shots, practice your ninja walk or just use a scooter or skateboard, anything that will give you that glide like motion without the vertical bobble. And finally, tip number three on how to get those smooth video moves. What you want to do is to set up your initial framing, pick a line to follow and have a general idea of where you're going to start and end. I like to compose with that end frame in mind. It makes everything so much easier. Many of you are watching this video on your phone I'm sure some of you are even saying, hey, I've been there. Well, the Brooklyn Bridge is a very popular filming location. It's appeared in so many New York based Hollywood movies and many TV shows. Let's try capturing as much of it as we can with a single hyperlapse shot. A hyperlapse or moving time lapse can look like an impossibly difficult shot to pull off. But I'm here to show you that it really is very easy with the DJI OM4. What I really love about these long takes is that you can capture a scene as a single uninterrupted take. You feel as though you're right there in the moment, in the city, it transports you. Now the goal here is to keep everything as steady as you can. So here are a few tips to optimize your video hyperlapses. Tip number one, hyperlapse can be time consuming to create because they take more than a few minutes to shoot. Before you begin, auto calibrate the gimbal to ensure that the phone is well balanced and the horizon line is perfectly level. Then you're good to go. Tip number two, pick the right path and line and take your time moving to that point. Now you can include more than one fixed point if the distance is long enough. I'll often pan during a hyperlapse when I'm covering some distance. Tip number three, relax your hand and wrist. The hyperlapse video could take two to five minutes to shoot. Keep your elbows in, hand steady, and eye on the end point. The goal here is to keep the gimbal and phone as steady as you can. About two to 3,000 cyclists per day use the Brooklyn Bridge to crisscross into Manhattan from Brooklyn and back. This should be a great place to try out this next shot. It's a fast tracking shot that follows a moving subject, in this case, a bike. It can create a very dynamic and interesting shot. Following a moving subject can be hit or miss. It can take a lot of practice and time but that's not the case with the OM4 gimbal. These shots feel very organic. They follow a subject through a scene, keeping them in the frame. I waited for a bike, anticipated the speed, and then reacted to its movements, and it worked out really great. It's not an easy shot, but I was pleasantly surprised by how well this little gimbal was able to deal with the motion and the movement. You can actually feel the energy of these cyclists on the bridge. It's very New York. Now, framing plays a big part in creating these types of shots. Here are a few tips when you're following a moving object. Tip number one, practice panning and your ideal position is one where the object you're tracking is in the full frame of the video. Tip number two, bikes move fast, so you need to get a feeling for the speed. In this case, the cyclist and how the gimbal reacts to your movement. 
This move needs a bit of practice, but it's super easy to achieve repeated success once you get a feeling for it. Tip number three. Framing moving subjects can be a challenge. The goal here is to keep the subject perfectly in frame. Find the best place to position yourself. It can be tricky, but the goal is to keep the bike and the rider in frame. I'm impressed with this little gimbal. The DJI OM4 is a real winner. Here we're using a combination of techniques to capture this scene. I'm tilting up, I'm moving backwards to reveal the traffic on the Brooklyn Bridge, and then slowly panning left to reveal New York City skyline as the sun sets. Ha, look at that. Perfect, perfect timing with the East River Ferry. Now that, my friends, is some real movie magic of its own. And with shots like this, why wouldn't you want a gimbal? When the Brooklyn Bridge was completed in 1883, its suspension towers were the tallest structure in America. Crazy right? And you can even see a short film from 1899 of a train crossing the bridge. Well, it's 2020. Let's see what else we can do with a gimbal and a little movie studio in our pocket. Spin shot functionality allows the joystick to control the gimbal rotation on the roll axis. It's activated via the DJI MIMO app. And using the joystick, the gimbal rotates the phone given a spinning effect. Now, it doesn't do a full 360 due to the limitations of the mechanical range, but it's pretty cool visual shot anyway. You can also adjust the speed of the spin shot in settings using the joystick speed control. Fast, medium, and slow. And this setting is the slow setting, which is very nice. Unique moves like this are fun to create. I mean, they really are and it's been coined the inception shot by many for obvious reasons if you haven't go see the movie here's just a few tips for when you're looking to create your very own spin shots tip number one set the video mode to spin shot within the dji mino app so why is this a tip well sometimes these features are overlooked or maybe you just didn't see a practical purpose for it when you first tried it it's cool and worth the time to learn and master tip number two is all about playing with movement and perspective Spin shot really shines when your OM4 gimbal is in motion. Small forward movements rolling left to right are cinematic gold with all those leading lines. You should be open to a little bit of cinematic freestyling with the gimbal. Have a bit of fun with it. Tip number three, focus on the spin timing. Now this is a little bit trickier and takes a little bit more practice. If you can time the spin shot with the movement of people entering or exiting the frame, it looks awesome. I like to use the fast joystick mode for this type of shot. It's a split second, a very brief moment of time, an instant. It's called a New York Minute. If you go looking for it, you've already missed it. It's often used to reference the pace of life here. A New York Minute is incredibly fast and beautiful. Well, time travels fast when you're having fun. And today, I'm actually having a lot of fun playing with the time-lapse functionality of the OM4 gimbal. It is a variety of time-lapse modes from basic time-lapse to hyperlapse and then motion lapse. Let's take a look at what each of these modes can do. A basic time lapse mode is just one of my favorite ways to capture the city in cinematic motion, and they are super simple to set up. I mean, all you have to do is to open the tripod lags, set the gimbal on the ground, press record, and you're done. A more advanced version of this technique is the hyperlapse, which we've covered earlier. This type of shot requires you to physically move with the gimbal. A great way to transition through space and time. The shot never gets old, looks really cool, especially if you travel in a straight line. All right, now we're on to motion lapse. This allows you to set a number of pre-programmed movement points for the gimbal. I can set the first point with the phone pointed at the traffic and the last point at the cityscape of Manhattan. I set the duration of the overall move for five minutes and then that's it, off to the races. I really hope this inspires you and makes you want to just get up and go out and buy a gimbal. That's the whole purpose of the video. It's to show you what the possibilities are. From a creative standpoint, if this is the tool that gets you out there creating more content, then by all means, get one. I thoroughly recommend the DJI OM4 gimbal. It is superb. Stability plays a big part in creating these types of shots. Here are a few tips for when you're shooting a motion time-lapse. Tip number one. Place the gimbal on a flat surface and make sure it's level. The electronic image stabilization technology as well as the three axis gimbal will ensure that your motion lapse turns out as smooth as possible. Tip number two, 
Use the joystick to set points for each location along the motion path. I also usually set the duration for 5 minutes with half second intervals. I'd suggest you play around with these settings yourself to find out what works best for your situation. Tip number 3, and my last tip, is always bring the gimbal with you. It's small and light enough to fit in your pocket. You'll get amazing footage shooting around sunset and you'll be absolutely surprised by how much more content you're creating. So what are my final thoughts on the DJI OM4 gimbal? For the price, it's an amazing smartphone gimbal, a brilliant piece of technology that will elevate your content to the next level. With this little gimbal, anyone can be a filmmaker. That's my take. I love how easy it is to switch from landscape to portrait mode with the push of a button when I'm shooting IG stories or even IGTV. It's small, light and compact and it folds down into a small compact unit that's no taller than your phone and that new magnetic clip is rather quite clever. It feels good to hold, the buttons are well positioned, the hardware software integration is good, no problems with it over the last few days. Hope you enjoyed this episode and that you've learned something from it. As always, share any tips or tricks you have with others in the comments below. Thanks for watching Adorama TV and let me know what you'd like to see next. I'm Maliki Sherlock. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to the Adorama TV channel. Love you all.